So I'm just going to um, show how to correctly uninstall and install a feeder belt on an R3 and R3H. Here we're using R3H. Um, so first of all we need to remove this cover for the timing belt for the feeder. Um, so here we have the feeder belt for the timing of the feeder for R3H. Um, this is the same on the older R3 model as well. To start off with we um, need to release the tension on the feeder belt. So with that um, there are four clamping bolts for the motor. Um, we loosen them off which I have done here and then we need to loosen off so, pulling the feeder forward, enough so to remove the belt, and then the belt can be removed. So that is for removing the belt. Now to install the belt correctly, we need to locate where the weights are on the pulleys. So we have first pulley, the second pulley and the dry pulley. So the weight is at the bottom, naturally goes down to the bottom. So we just mark off the bottom. So we just mark off the bottom there. Then we install the belt. Like so, now it is still loose. Now with the marks, we need to make sure we get the correct timing, so we just do a bit of tension up on the belt. Then we can use a 10mm Allen key socket on a strong arm, and we need to have our first mark at 3 o'clock, and our second mark at 6 o'clock. So we use this to turn the belt to 3 o'clock and then do the tension up and so wind up the tension. So when I release this tensioner and let it naturally fall have the, both these lines the same on a 45 degree heading towards the rotor. This will make sure that the material is getting thrown forward and not backwards. The tension on it should be 10 mil of deflection with 10 kilos of weight on it. Once that's correct, we can do up the four retaining bolts, lock them up tight put the cover back on. And that's how you fit a timing belt to the feeder on an R3H. If there's any issues, give us a call. Equip to.